When I began reading this, uh, this text, I have to take you back just a little bit to chapter 27, maybe a little bit further than that. Read it for yourselves. It's very powerful. I won't take a lot of time with this. But I want you to see where the Apostle Paul is. We know at this point he is on an island, but I want to explain to you just quickly how he got there. First of all, we know that the Apostle Paul, he had been through a lot of things. Of course, we know that he had been to King Agrippa, and King Agrippa did not receive the gospel. He said, almost you persuaded me. We know that he went before Felix, and Felix said, give me a more convenient time. Come back at a more convenient time. And again, we see the Apostle Paul uh, that, that he shared the gospel and the gospel was rejected. Then we find him as he is uh, on this boat. He's a prisoner on this ship. And it's very interesting in chapter 27. I love it. There's a whole sermon, many sermons in chapter 27. But I want to just share with you quickly what happened there. He is a prisoner on a ship. And when he gets on there, he, he hears from the Lord a message from God comes to him and tells them. He said, go, more or less, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but he said, go, let them know, let the captain know, do not set sail from where they are. Don't do it. Because there's a horrible storm coming up and they will be right in the middle of this storm if they leave this port. Well, the Apostle Paul again did what the Lord told him to do. He went and shared this word. He told him, he said, the Lord has told me, stay where we are. Well, it just so happens that the captain of the ship made a decision and he made a decision to listen to logic. He made a decision to listen to the wisdom of the world instead of hearing the voice of the Lord. And he made the decision to set sail there from that port, that little harbor. And when he did, of course, it happened just like God said it was going to happen. Amen. And you find that a horrible storm by the name of Eurachlodon began to blow into that place and we see them in such a terrible situation. Well, thank the Lord for his mercy. Amen. God shows up again, sends a, sends a messenger to Paul. He said, Paul, tell them, go to them and tell them that, that I, I, I'm speaking, I've got another